Hello Team Sagittarius, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. For those of you who are new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way. Sag, I hope you're all well and you're safe wherever you are in the world. And also, I'm doing extended readings for some of my videos, some of the Zodiac videos, so... I will let you know if I'm going to extend this while I read um, throughout this video. So if you're interested and you resonate with this message, please make sure that you follow the link that's in the description box below to purchase the extended if you need to get in deeper with this reading, okay? For those of you who want personal readings, you can always email me. The information is down below. Please um, also... Pay attention to what I need from you as you email me, okay? So let's get into your reading, Sag. Um, so what I'm getting here is that there's something about you knowing what to do. I think this is this card keeps repeating over and over again in your readings. So it's like you know what to do. You have the resources, but a lot of you are not making, you're not taking action, okay? So this goes two ways. Either this is with the connection, it's like you know what to do in regards to this connection. You know what action. You've been guided by spirit. Your guides are telling you. It could be anybody. It could be guides in the, you know, spirit. It could be, you know, maybe a friend or a mentor or a counselor. It could be anybody, right? Whatever you want to call it, a coach. But... You know what to do. This is, has to do a lot with your uh, partnership, okay? Your partnership, because we have the 1-7 here. And this is about you um, holding, like, it's kind of like you're retracting. It's like you know what to do, but you're not taking action here, okay? Um, for those of you, I feel like this is also that has to do with family. For some of you, you're having some issues when it has to do with family you know Scorpio got the same thing I don't know if you all have Scorpio placements or you're dealing with a Scorpio okay so this could be either you Sag or the person you're dealing with having family things so we have the moon energy here and this is also number seven so you all might be seeing 77 777 um what I'm getting with this is that there's things that have to be released, okay? So there's something that has to be released when it has to do. So it could be a form of communication. It could be a conversation. It could be something that needs to be released. I'm getting released a lot with you, okay, in this reading. Um, this has to do with some sort of family dynamic for some of you. It has to do with a stable situation, okay? So this could also be you and your person that things have to be released between. So it could be just information. It could be feelings that need to be released. It could be emotions. So somebody here is holding back when it comes to that. And it's. I think it has a lot to do with um, you thinking about the outcome so much, okay? It's about expectations like, oh no, what if I say what I need to say? Because look at this girl here. She looks scared. She looks like a skeptic here. Like, oh, what if, you know, I say whatever I'm supposed to say or release this information or whatever or tell this person like this? What if it doesn't, you know, um, what if it doesn't change? But we have the rainbow here, okay? So even if it might come out like in a stormy way, whatever you have to say or whatever someone has to do with you, it's like spirit saying like, look at the rainbow, okay? So this is also your person I feel, or this could be whoever, is also having anxiety about releasing. They're anxious, okay? They're thinking about you heavily and this is attachment, okay? So maybe this person is attached to their lower part of their ego, Guys, there's changes this person knows they need to make, but I do feel like this person has been holding on to the whatever they've been doing, routine I'm getting, like their old ways, okay? They think their old ways are right, but Spirit is saying, no, you got to change because we have the number five here, okay? So you might be seeing five, five, five. Um, this has a lot to do with the karma 
that they have is what I'm getting. And it's like once they release whatever this is that they're holding on to, okay, maybe um, they're hiding behind the mask of who they really are for some of you. And once they do that, it's like they go into this cornucopia. This is abundance. This is stability. It's kind of like both of you are not moving, Sag. And the Spirit's saying here, somebody make a move. Because there's something waiting for you both on the other side. Okay? And something like, these are great cards, by the way. Look at that. I mean, who doesn't want this? Abundance. It, it's like in all forms. But you both are like at the crossroads kind of. Both of you are holding back. And we have the temperance card here, patience. Okay? This is this is your card, right? This is um this is Saggy card. <laughs> Tell a Sag to be patient, right? Um this is you know what I'm getting? This is in divine timing. So things are shifting behind the scenes. Um, someone is, you know, trying to release an attachment, okay? And I feel like this person is releasing an expectation because they're, they're being skeptic, okay? So this is the masculine side here. So remember, masculine is not a gender it is energy so whoever's on the masculine side of the energy here let's see for sagittarius hmm. blue moon maybe something happened during the blue moon you guys maybe you had some spiritual activity going on remember when the blue moon was uh, in halloween or someone is um Someone drinking blue moon, it was that blue moon beer? Is that a beer or something? Blue moon beer. I don't know. Okay. So. Ah, very interesting. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. So somebody is thinking about you. This is, you know, the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate card here. I feel like this person is nostalgic. And you know what they're thinking about? They're thinking about the bad times and the good times with you, okay? So it's like this person is kind of putting you on this type of pedestal, Sag, um, or whoever the feminine is in this reading, I do feel like this person does want to come back with you, okay? They are thinking about you heavily, but there's a pause here in this connection, okay? I feel like they're waiting on you, okay? Whoever the feminine energy is, the masculine is waiting on the feminine energy. I do feel like there's a pause in your connection. There could have been some type of retraction from somebody's side that's what I'm getting retraction here and it has a lot to do with this person thinking about all the things that they regret so I don't know how this person um, maybe they put you in a situation um, for some of you it could have been a third party somebody else got involved and this could be past energy guys because what I'm seeing here, it's kind of like this person is having a review of a, the connection. They're they're under, they're doing a review of the good times and the bad. And what I feel here is that this person does have guilt, okay, for some of you, because it's like in this connection, they saw more of the negative aspects of the connection than the positive. So there's like both, like. I feel like that, that's what I, I don't want to repeat myself. Spirit keeps saying they're on. It's like they're putting the connection under review. And really thinking about what they invested in. OK, so some of them are actually realizing that they didn't. Um, they re, they're realizing and they're regretting that they did not give this connection um the best chance, okay, because of, you know, they didn't put enough time, attention, affection is what I'm getting to, okay, 
or they didn't give this connection a, the stability it needed. So this has to do with the dynamics that they put into this connection and the lack of, okay? So I hope you all understand what I'm saying with that. And now it's like this person here, okay, the masculine energy is thinking this is the missed opportunity. Like I really screwed this up. This was something we could have made it solid. And this person is thinking about all the things they did not do and they screwed up this solid thing that they had, okay? And some, of, to be honest with you, some of you, I'm not going to say all, but I'm getting this energy where this person is like, you know what, Sag or whoever the feminine is, is a blessing and I took it for granted. I didn't put enough time or invested in this connection and now I regret it. This person doesn't take action. That's their issue. They're, even if they're a fire energy, okay, if they have a lot of fire in this chart, this person does not act like they're in their element, whatever that is, right? So here we are. And it's like now this person's thinking, you know what? I do want the commitment. I do want the commitment the feminine was talking about. I want something stable. I want something that... Um, I don't have to worry about all the time, okay? Because this person could have, you know, just thought of things very lightly and casually in the past for some of you. And now they're saying, you know, they're thinking, wow, like I missed it. You know what I'm getting the energy of? It's like, you know how somebody doesn't see you as the wife or the husband? And now they do, okay? So they now see you as like a solid partner. Um, and I think that it has a lot to do with this, the pause in this connection, whether it be now or, you know, maybe you haven't spoken to this person. Let me know. Because for some of you, I feel that they're, you're on different um, time lengths. And what I'm getting from this energy here is that this person needed time on their own. Okay. So if there was a separation when it comes to seeing each other physically, being alone, this person did, did need time alone because now they're weighing. This person could have seen things like blaming you, Sag. Like, oh, you're the one who screwed things up. Blaming you for things from the past, right? But now this person is realizing like, wow, I messed this up. You know, I messed this up because I didn't put, I didn't invest enough into this connection, you know? Okay, so this is the feminine energy here, guys. So let's see what the feminine energy. Ooh. All right. Okay, so Sag, this is you. This is you. I feel that here's the thing. I feel like with this energy is that you put so much of your passion and action into this connection. You are doing it all, okay? And you are... Whatever vision you had of both of you being together in the past, now this person has it. So I feel like the tables are turning. So it's kind of like whatever your vision was of the past, I feel like this person is now feeling it. Okay? It's kind of like, oh, now I see what fem my feminine meant. You know, now they're seeing it more clearly. And I feel like it does have a lot to do, like I'm saying, this person needed to be alone, you know, because the thing is, is that this is such intense energy and not everybody could take it, okay? Not everybody can take a Sagittarius um, energy, okay? We're really intense. Um, the Sag size of me is really intense. Not everybody can handle it, right? But what I'm getting here is that you're no longer putting in the effort you used to. You're not long, no longer putting the passion in that you used to. 
you're taking a break here and you're like, okay, I'm going to see what you're going to do. Whether you're male or female doesn't matter. You're here, okay? This is the feminine though, energy-wise. You're here and you're like, let me see what this person's going to do. I'm going to retract. I'm going to pull back my energy. Let me see what they're going to do, okay? And now you're realizing that you're the one who was putting this connection up. You're the one who was trying to make it work. And it really didn't work out, okay? But you feel like such a connection to this person no matter what. Even if you try to forget them or whatever, it's this connection that you both feel. And um, the thing is, is that for some of you, you really had this vision of this per being with this person. Um, you feel you feel very connected to them, okay? Um, spiritually too, so you could feel like they're your soulmate, your twin flame, that kind of energy, so connected. Like you, um, you even smell this person. You know, it's that kind of energy, right? Like when you close your eyes, you see their face. It's you're so um, connected that way and telepathically too. So you might be dreaming of them also and they might be dreaming of you. However, you're ready to move forward, okay? You're ready to move forward whether it be with this person or not. You've come to a space where you're realizing that, hey, you know what? I had this vision with this person. It didn't go the way I wanted, okay? And you're also realizing how this person screwed it up. You know what song I got? If you lose me, you lose a good thing. I don't know who sings that. It's an oldie. Um, okay. So let's see. Masculine energy for Sagittarius. That's wonderful. Okay. You're dealing with somebody who's very insecure. The masculine energy here is very insecure, you guys. Okay. This is so interesting. Okay. So what I have to say about this is this person has been confused for a long time. That's why they haven't made a decision when it comes to this connection. Okay. This person has an issue with whatever they think in their mind. Like if they dream of you or dream of things of you, they don't take action. Their issue is the action. And you know what? Some people might say like, I I'm getting a lot of fire energy with this person that's not coming through. Okay. And it's not just in somebody's sun. It doesn't have to be your sun energy. It could be in your rising or... um. any other placement but I, what I'm getting is this person is not in their element so if you see them as oh they're always taking action for everything else but when it comes to me it's like they're not moving okay so what I'm getting here because this is the magician card in reverse okay this person here Like I was saying, there's some type of family issues here that I'm getting, okay? And I feel like that is playing a um, as an external factor when it comes to this connection. So either this could be a past with a family or it could be, you know, family wounds that they haven't healed, Sag. And the thing is, is that that has a lot to do with what's implementing them from taking action towards this commitment. Well, that's one of the things, okay? Even though they want it, this person wants it. Oh, okay. But there's things in the past that have to be let go of. Like I said, released, let go of, okay? So um, let me see on your side. I don't know. Do you guys still want this person? Are you ready to move forward, Sag? Spirit just said forgiveness. Okay, justice, yeah. With what? All right, hold on. Ooh. Oh, man. 
All right. Okay. <laughs> so we got the Justice card. Okay. And we got the Ace of Cups here. I love this energy. So guys, what I'm getting from this, I'm going to extend this. Okay. Um, there is this, this energy that I'm getting with what, okay, I'm going to put it down in the link, right? The link, but for the extended, but what I want to say with this energy that I'm getting from the feminine aspect, okay, there's a way how to do things for this connection to work. If you want this, or if you want someone new, it doesn't matter. And this has a lot to do with holding on and caring about someone else's feelings over yours, okay? Let me just put it that way. If you realize that and this message resonates with you, you can follow me in the extended, okay? It has a lot to break through that, okay? Putting someone else's feelings before yours. And the thing is, is like, some of you have had more compassion for this person than they've had for you, okay? And that's an issue. So we'll get more into spiritual advice for that, but there is this new love energy that's waiting to come in. But there's things that need to be cleaned out first, okay? And this is about, ju this is justice, okay? So whatever you do in this situation, they're going to tell you how to, how to be fair and just in this action so you can get the fairness that you want because I feel like this person has been really unfair okay and it has a lot to do with the imbalance that they have okay some of you um and I'm not trying to throw shade here but some of you think that this person is bipolar okay I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but their headspace is so confusing that that's why you're you're really tired of it, okay? Um, for some of you, you might think this person is a narcissist or they are selfish. There's a lot of things that you think about this image you have of this person, okay? So I'm going to get into the extended Sagittarius and see much further what to do with the situation, what to do to bring in this new love energy, whether with someone else or them, okay? I'll go into both and then we will, um, yeah, we'll get into the energy of this person too further a little bit because I'm sure you already know how this person is being. So I hope this has brought you value. It's helped you in some way. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you already haven't. Sag, I wish you all the best. Peace out.